How is the parallel sweep search carried out in a search and rescue operation? Now the first diagram here shows the parallel sweep search conducted by an aircraft with one vessel. Now you can see here a point known as the CSP is mentioned and that means the commence search point. That is the point from which the search commences. So let me talk a little bit about the parallel sweep search and show you a couple of more diagrams where more than one vessel is involved in the parallel sweep search. Now in this type of search is used to search a large area where survivor location is uncertain. It is most effective over water or flat terrain. Usually used when a large search area must be divided into sub areas for assignment to individual search facilities on scene at that same time. Here shows a diagram where the parallel sweep search is being carried out by two ships simultaneously. The track spacing is referred to as the letter S which is tried and kept constant. The commence search point is in one corner of the sub area as I showed you in the first diagram. It's also known as the CSP where one half track space inside the rectangle is kept or ma maintained from each of the two sides forming the corner. Search legs are always parallel to each other and to the long sides of the sub area. Multiple vessels may be used as I will show you in the forthcoming diagram. Over here, you can see the search is being carried out by four ships on your left side and five or more ships on the right side of the diagram. So I hope this video was useful for you to understand how a parallel sweep search is carried out, when is it useful and when can more than one vessel may be involved in such a search.